So you want to play Gear City on Ultra Violent Nightmare. And every time you try, you just go bankrupt in the first year. Well, I got a right video for you, so just watch on. We start with all the default configuration for the difficulty Ultra Violent Nightmare. It forces us to start with a bank loan, no factories or any dealership at all, and terrible research. Then we get to decide the location of the headquarter, and I recommend picking up either North America or Europe, as it is where all the consumers are at the start of the game. We give our name and choose our logo, then make sure all 300 AI companies are present, and we launch a new live. And once in the office, we can click on the safe to take a look at our finances. Our entire cash reserve is a loan, and we're only being offered a single line of credit by the Bank of Russia for $919, which we promptly accept. Now we go to the research and development department. Whereas usually you start designing a chassis, engine, and gearbox, we don't really have the money to do so, so there's no way we can design a vehicle so early on. So the only thing you'll design for now is a gearbox for a generic car and a very generic and cheap gearbox. The importance is not whether you can use it for any real application. The importance is that it keeps your research team awake, increasing their technical skill, and the gearbox itself can be licensed out to whatever AI is foolish enough to pay us for it. Then we go into outsource and vehicle and we make sure to choose the outsource and purchase and we make sure that our company is at the selected one. This interface allows us to contractually buy some opponents of cars. The goal of doing that is to avoid having to build factories which cost millions and we can use our competitor factory to create our own cars that we can sell at a profit and choose a fair amount of how many we expect to sell per month doesn't matter if we exceed the amount, we can always readjust later on. It's best if you're able to outsource a Phantom and a Sedan, because these are the two vehicles that sell the best early game. Then we go to the world map to build our own little network of dealership. We just make sure they're as inexpensive as possible to run and only in big cities. And then in the mega menu we set for sale both the models that we're outsourcing. And first month we almost make it, just short 2000 from getting Evan. But we didn't miss a lot of sales here. So from the mega menu just increase the amount of outsourced cars to insert the demand. And we finally turn a profit. Just don't go waste it all in the stock market please. <laughs> 